I'm Pastor Wanji. Welcome in the name of Jesus, our suffering, sorrowing, saving God who can help. I serve here at Aldersgate United Methodist Church. Welcome to our hybrid Good Friday worship service, both online and in person. Blessed is Christ crucified who bears our burdens, teaches us how to love, shows us the way, and will lead us home. There is nothing that our crucified God will not hold in their outstretched arms, and our world will never be left alone. All are welcome here, and all always means all. We gather at a crossroad. We know not what lies ahead. We know that we will encounter betrayal, pain, and loneliness. Yet, yeah, through Jesus, Jesus, we are shown how to stand on our own and with all the suffering. The powers of death and isolation are great. In hearing these hard stories, O oh God, equip us to be people of peace and friendship in all the hard times, but especially when we would rather resort to violence or run away. May a community be built among us, a community that stands with each other, counting on the loving power for life.
A story entitled Between Two Gardens, based on John chapter 18, verses 1 through chapter 19, verse 42. Here we go. <laughs> the day started in silence. Jesus took the disciples to a garden he knew, a quiet place where they could sit and pray and wait for what was about to happen. Judas knew the garden too, and he came there with the soldiers, carrying lanterns and torches and weapons like they were going into battle. Jesus spoke, who are you looking for, Jesus of Nazareth? I am he, Jesus said, and the soldiers fell to the ground. Who are you looking for, Jesus of Nazareth? I told you that I am he, so if you're going looking just for me, let my disciples go free. Peter took out a sword and went after one of the people with the soldiers. But Jesus said, put your sword away. It is time for me to drink the cup that God has given me. The soldiers took Jesus to the high priest, and Peter and the disciples followed him, waiting outside the gate. Someone asked Peter, are you one of Jesus' disciples? But Peter quickly answered, I am not, and drew near to the charcoal fire the police had built outside the gate. For some reason, he felt very cold. The police officer asked Peter again if he was Jesus' disciple, and again he answered, I am not. Finally, a slave asked, didn't I see you in the garden with Jesus this very night? For the third time, Peter said, no, and a rooster crowed. Meanwhile, the high priest asked Jesus about his teaching. Jesus answered, I have said nothing in secret. Why are you asking me? The police slapped Jesus for being rude to the high priest. Jesus said, did I say something wrong? Why are you hitting me? It took Jesus to see Pilate, who asked him, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, are you the one asking this, or did others tell you about me? Pilate said, I'm not a Jew, but your fellow Jews handed you over to me. What have you done wrong? Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. So you are a king? You say I am the king, but I say that I testify to the truth, and everybody who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Pilate asked Jesus, what is truth? But Jesus did not answer him. He had said all there was to say. Pilate said to the crowd, you have a custom that I can release a prisoner this time of year. Shall I release this king of the Jews? But the crowd said, no, release Barbas, the bandit. Pilate did not let Jesus go free. Instead, he told his soldiers to whip Jesus. The soldiers dressed him up in a ridiculous costume, a purple robe and a crown made of thorns, making fun of him saying, hail king of the Jews, while they hit him in the face. Pilate went out to the crowds who cried, crucify him. Pilate said, crucify him yourselves. I find no case against him. The crowd said, he has broken our law because he has claimed to be the son of God. Pilate was afraid. He asked Jesus, where are you from? Why will you not speak to me? Don't you know I have the power to release you or to have you killed? He brought Jesus out to the crowds and said, here is your king. But the crowd said, we have no king but the emperor. Crucify him. So they crucified Jesus on a hill under a sign which read, Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews, dividing his clothing among the soldiers. Jesus looked down from the cross and saw his mother, Mary, and the disciple he loved. He said to them, from now on, you must be mother and son to one another. And so it was. Jesus said he was thirsty but they gave him only sour wine. Then Jesus said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit.
God in anguish, we hold you and walk with you through on into the night. God, hold us as we walk to, through, on, into this world's shadow. God of passion, we kneel with you, praying into the night while the world conspires against you and tries to put an end to love. God, kneel with us as we pray to into this night, as forces gather behind our words and betray love's future. God of the day and night who lives through it, we follow, holding your cup Trusting your will, though the shadows seem so long. God, who lives through us, follow on. Help us hold your cup and keep trusting, Jesus, through the deep night.
never, never let us outlive our love for thee. Friends, wait in faith now, people of the crucified God. Wait, and if your faith runs low, touch the hands of those around you who also sit and wait beside the tomb. And trust that the starry star will stay awake. We will wait in faith, Jesus Christ. Hold near to you the people of ages past, those who had nothing but faith to sustain them. Wrap the bodies of need with shrouds of loving kindness while you wait as though you too hold the body of Christ. We will wait in love, Jesus Christ. Roll the stones of determination into the paths of those who would destroy hope and sit before these sanctuaries of good to guard the truth. Be the brave defenders against all who would take away the trust on a child's face with its expectations that love will survive and bring us home to the victory of abundant life. We will wait in faithfulness, Jesus Christ. Wait in faith over these next three days. Wait in hope for the risen life of God to visit the people in grace. Wait in openness for gifts, grace, beyond imagining. For this is the Christ, the human one, whose love will never be defeated. We will wait in hope. Go in peace.